there's a lot of excitement and hope pinned on development of a COVID-19 vaccine. What is not talked about, unfortunately, is the fact that, that the, the people who really, really need that vaccine, the older people um, who are at most risk of severe outcomes from COVID-19, are the ones where the vaccine is least likely to work because they don't have a robust immune system. And there's evidence that, that, that drugs like rapamycin that target the bio- biology of aging can actually help with that. that. That if you were to give these interventions to older people, you can actually improve their ability to respond to a vaccine. Again, that's not, I don't wanna say it's not being explored at all, but it, those strategies are being explored in extremely small studies, rare cases, whereas there is a huge amount of money that's going towards in my opinion, research that is unlikely to have a significant impact on, on the pandemic. There is a, a lack of understanding and appreciation among those who um, allocate the federal spending for things like COVID-19. And even among the broader uh, scientific community that um, we understand enough about biological aging that we have a real shot. In fact, we know we can modulate it. There's no question about that anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, that by doing so, there is a very high potential that we can actually improve the immune system in ways that are going to be significant, both for enhancing a vaccine once we've got one, and also for preventing um, older people who are at highest risk from having their infection progress to the point where they are on a ventilator or they eventually die. The other point that I think is important to consider is that unlike a vaccine, which is only going to work for COVID-19, and it's not even clear that it's going to work for all the strains of COVID-19 that might be out there now, because influenza doesn't, um, by targeting the, the biological mechanisms of aging, it's not this, this you know, very specific one virus approach. It's basically strengthening the immune system of older people so that they will be protected against COVID-19 and influenza and bacterial infections. And, 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 and in that way, it's a, it's a much more effective, I think, strategy at um, improving health among the most vulnerable segments of our population. And more sustainable, too, because, I mean, who, who's to say that there's not some new superbug that's emerging that we just yet don't know about? I mean, yeah, that's right. It, you know, this, there could be something else down the road that comes. And then what are we going to do? How long can we sustain lockdown after lockdown after? I mean, it's yeah. unsustainable. So it is. And I think also, you know, you're right. There may be the next pandemic uh, that, that we don't know about. But I think also, you know, we've gotten used to the idea that 100 some million people are going to die every year from influenza. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be that way. <laughs> um, so, and, you know, this gets to the idea that, 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 you know, aging is something natural that we should just accept, which I think, you know, is, is the way a lot of people think about aging. Um, I think we need to get out of that mindset. I think that, that, um, biological, so chronological aging, just the passage of time. I agree. I'm not a physicist, but I'm pretty sure we can't do much about that right now. <laughs> biological aging, we have the opportunity to really have an impact. And, it, and, and aging doesn't have to be, biological aging doesn't have to be this in, inevitable process where you just break down and you get frail um, towards the last you know, couple of decades of your life. Um, I'm not saying that we can cure aging. And in fact, I really don't like that phrase, but I think that we can have a significant impact on the biology of aging such that we can improve the the health of people as they're getting older substantially. And and maybe, you know, again, I think it's not unreasonable to expect that at least for certain systems like the immune system, we can probably get a 20 year restoration of function, Um, maybe more. So I think that there are real opportunities to to impact aging and enhance healthy lifespan. Um, But there is this challenge of uh, getting people to think a different way about aging. Yeah.